I chose poorly. Oh god, <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Good morning. I didn't film myself uh, waking up because I'm just not that good at vlogging yet. Well, last night got kind of cold actually. Had to cover myself up and put on a sweater and get fully clothed. Definitely got a little chilly. I'd say probably 40s, maybe 50s. Time to make some coffee. That's too hot. I'm gonna wait a minute. <laughs> Beautiful morning here. I gotta say, this Leo Carrillo campsite is real nice. I like it. Minus the sand being the main ground here, it's wonderful. There's my bike. Charging port over there. I covered up all the reflectors on it. Didn't want it being obvious. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read some and uh, just chill here. Oh, it's, I, I woke up at 7 a.m. Got a lot of sleep last night. I did toss and turn a bit. My only complaint is that the sleeping pad could be a bit wider. Next time, I, th I think mine is 20, it's either 24 or 25 inches wide. Next time I'm gonna go for like a 30 inch wide. So I'm, I'm a big dude, I'm not, I'm not a small guy, so. And also this, the Snug Pack Scorpion. A little short for me. I had to sit diagonally a little bit in there and I can't quite sit up all the way in there. But I think I'm gonna get one of those lightweight ones that's more of like a, a point. So I can actually sit up in it because I need to be able to sit up in a tent, especially for bike packing. If it's raining out, I wanna be able to sit in my tent. Other than that, yeah, got a little cold. There's no big deal, just throw on some layers. I'll probably buy a sleeping bag and not just use the wool blanket and poncho. But yeah, once I get those two pieces, I think my my setup will be pretty, pretty solid. All right, time to enjoy my coffee and uh, read. Well, that coffee was delicious. I don't normally eat breakfast, but I figure if I'm gonna be riding all day, or a good portion of the day. You know what, I haven't decided. I might I might stay here for the day and just relax and chill. Give my butt some time to uh, heal. <laughs> you know, when you're not used to bike touring or bike packing, uh, train a little bit before you start one because uh, your, your butt will hurt. I'm gonna make some oatmeal. Like I said, I don't really do breakfast, but when camping and riding all day, it's probably best to have a, some some gas in the tank. Six dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> so this right here is uh, for Patriots Supply, the uh, freeze-dried food. But this is the breakfast. It's uh, it's something like Granny's oatmeal, something like that. But I'm gonna give it a try for the first time. Looks like it'll be good. <laughs> Let's heat up this water. By the way, I am loving this setup I got here. Luxata stainless steel 750 milliliter cook pot is great. And then the lid it has these three little vent holes and a little triangle. With my titanium spoon, I just use this little hook, lift it off or lift that up off of the jet boil. Really, really useful. Really working out well. All right, now I got 300 milliliters in here. I have no idea if that's the right amount. I think I need to put a little bit more in there. Too watery. More.
Cheers, everybody. It's time for some breakfast. It's, how hot is this? Too hot. Oh, that sun feels good. Now I can see why people worship the sun all throughout history. Because at night, when it gets cold, you're just waiting on it. Please, God, show up and warm me. Take off my raincoat. If you're interested in all the gear I have, let me know down in the comments section. I'll put together a gear list video and I'll give you uh, legitimate reviews because they're not paying me. I think it's also time to retire the uh, wool blanket and poncho. I mean, it works, but when I was in the survival school, I used to make duff beds. And what a duff bed is, is you basically gather up a bunch of leaves and plant life and you put it on the ground and then you sleep in that. When you don't have that, you know, it's just not as warm. Like, honestly, a duff bed is so warm, it is amazing. It is a great way to sleep. I mean, you'd think sleeping in, like, leaves and foliage would be bad, but no, that's, that's how we did it for most of human history, and it is super, super comfortable. But when you don't have all that, all those leaves surrounding you, it's, it's pretty cold. So I'm gonna look to invest in a better sleeping bag, a bike packing tent, something I could sit up in, and a wider sleeping mat. So my sleep system needs work. But I mean, this snug pack for somebody that's not 6'2", would be great. It would be absolutely amazing. 5'10", you're good. Snug pack scorpion, like one of the best tents you could possibly get. But if you can't sit up in your tent, it's just, <laughs> I don't like it. All right, let's try this, let's try this oatmeal. All right, poor patriots. Right now you're telling me I should have packed some cinnamon and brown sugar, but I did not. This is not good. This might be the worst breakfast I've ever had in my life. I'm just powering through it. That was way too much too. I chose poorly. He chose poorly. Oh God, <laughs> so bad. All right, so just imagine straight oatmeal. No fruit, no cinnamon, no sugar, just straight oatmeal. You know, if I was starving, which I've starved before, if I was starving, this would probably be pretty good. But I'm not starving. Oh, what have I done to myself? I should have brought eggs for the first day. You know, cinnamon would have made this okay. It's one thing I forgot, little spices for this trip. This campsite is pretty awesome though. I'll show you guys the bathroom and, and the little store later. I haven't been to the store yet, but the bathrooms here are really nice. Took a shower last night, felt great. In fact, now that I think about it, I don't think I filmed me saying goodnight. So good night and good morning. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't film that, whoops. See, I'm new to this whole vlog thing. You'll have to give me a break. Oh, I am so upset at myself right now. Oof. Well, I wanna do my best to stomach the rest of this. I can't do it. It's disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. Another thing I forgot. So, well, dishwashing soap. Alright, let's get out of here. Here's where I camped last night. There's the electrical outlet. My snug pack scorpion. Great tent for somebody shorter than I. Here's the bathrooms. Showers are super nice. Coins. Drinking fountain, sink, and every single one is in use. Pretty nice, huh? I've packed up my campsite. It's 
So I think I'm moving on for today. I'm either gonna go up to uh, Sycamore Cove campground, or I'm gonna ride all the way into Camarillo and uh, get a, a motel room for the night. I haven't decided yet. I'll have to figure that out. We'll see how I feel uh, riding into Camarillo. But yeah, I still gotta go to the store here. I'm gonna pick up some spices and whatnot. See if I want anything else, see if I wanna stay. If I do stay at this campsite, I'm gonna stay at uh, the hike and bike spot because my bike is fully charged. I have no need for electricity at this point. I think it's time to be moving on. Alright, well, they didn't, they had sugar, but it was like a giant box of it. I don't need a giant box. So I got some donuts, and I'm gonna hit the road. Let's roll. Traveling up the coast, I'm at this uh, spot where the sand dune goes down to the road. And then way back in the distance there, I don't know if you can see it, that little spot right there, that rock is really famous in a lot of movies. But there is a ridiculous headwind. This is so difficult. Oh man, I got like another 20, 30 miles to go. Just take a little break. Look, you want to see how slow the headwind? I don't know if you could see them, but you see those uh, those pelicans. They're just still. They're just standing still in the air. All right. Oh, on a fun note, I also broke my uh, tripod. Good stuff. All right, let's keep it going. And here we are the ultra famous spot. One you've seen in every single car commercial that's ever existed. You can see way back there. That's where I just came from. Right there. My gosh. This wind is too much. It's got to be it's got to be 10 mile an hour winds. Way too much. guy filming something with cars around here. <laughs> I'm in a shot, so we'll see if I'm in a commercial somewhere. Man, that girl is a beast. She passed me earlier. Like, a beast. Alright. Let's keep it going. Date. I'm now on Las Postas Road. Needed to give my ass a break. Oh, I should have gone riding for at least another month or two before doing this. <laughs> oh my gosh. I put on my biker shorts to help help a little bit. But you know, once you're out here, you're out here. You have no other choice. Right now I'm just in between a bunch of farmland. Oh 
I'll get into Camarillo soon and then figure out my next move after that. Probably go somewhere, grab some lunch. Figure out if I want to ride if I want to ride home or not. I guess we'll figure out soon. And I decided I'm gonna sit here at Starbucks for a few hours, charging my battery. You can see it in the window. I think you can see it in the window right there, charging. And then I'm just gonna push it back to the house. I was gonna do three days, but I just don't want to pay the $84 to take get a hotel room. I suppose I could stealth camp somewhere, but I've never done that before. And I kind of want to look into it a little bit more, and maybe I'll scope out some places along the way if I find something. Maybe I will camp out another night because my bum hurts. So now I'm in Santa Rosa Valley, decided to head home. My battery is fully charged now. Well, actually now I'm at 96% since being at Las Posas in Camarillo. And yeah, it's been quite a journey. I suppose I could have done more than one night. I've, I've been searching for a nice little stealth spot, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I wanna go back to my bed. A nice warm bed. Got about another probably eight miles left about thereabouts. I think I'm gonna go grab a burger first though before I head home. I made it to PL Burger. My favorite burger place is in Thousand Oaks off Arbalis. I am gonna munch down this burger then I'm home. I didn't film much uh, on the way home today I just I just wanted to get back. It's a long ride, I'm tired, my butt hurts. <laughs> That's definitely my biggest complaint for this whole trip is my butt hurts. I will definitely put that cloud nine on next time I go, just like no matter what. Ow. Made it back home. That was quite a journey. Two day journey. 75 miles, two days. Not bad, not bad, I'm okay with that. I hope you enjoyed the show. I hope you enjoyed tagging along with me. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and uh, I'll bring more adventures. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this bike, then I'm gonna make a detailed list of all my gear, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through it all and give my opinions on it all. And, uh, yeah, set up some links. If you guys want to get some of it, you can get it yourself. All right. Thanks for hanging with Zanin. Peace.